Joe hurried him towards the living room. Sarah could hear other detectives talking on the other side of the door. Is working at a time like this, seriously? Sheesh, I do not get rich people and their priorities. Yeah, I feel bad for this daughter. But that's a real piece of work. Nice to have bad mouthing him in his own house. <laughs> oh, uh, I'm really sorry about all that, Joe said, pausing in embarrassment. So I pushed past him and opened the door. That DL yeah, is a lot of them. Oh, these are the news of holding them in the room. They went suddenly silent as Sarah entered. So tell me, he said sarcastically, would you rather I stay here weeping as I watch this disaster unfold? This is Winston grimaced. Well, yeah, see, he's got a point. What would you prefer for the father to do? Just sit there and just whinge and cry all day and all night and get in their way and shit? Or would you prefer that he was trying to do something with his life to try and move on while they're trying to do their fucking job? Because his daughter's been kidnapped. Although if I remember, if it's the girl I think it is, then she, she's safe-ish. You're not being a perfect father, he added his hostility building. So I stepped forward to interview before things got out of hand. Now, now, let, let's not be touchy. I am not being touchy, Osama snapped. But he knew full well that he was. These guys had the time to sit around backbiting him, but not to go out and bring us her uh, bring Maria to safety. Or very close to half a day has gone by without any new developments. Ransom the man had come in previous night at eight o'clock. Maria had been abducted roughly an hour before. Oh I see Maria is that girl. Okay, so we have no idea about Maria, to be honest. Epic sus susser's bomber. Nice. Tomorrow 10 a.m. by Chico in Shibuya. Have the sister Hitomi bring 50 million yen. If not, the girl's life is forfeit. Can have called only once that the police were unable to run a truce. A trace. A truce. That'll do it, Hitomi said. Anything for my sister. She didn't hesitate in the slightest at the suggestion that she can, that she make the ransom handoff. So I was staunchly opposed to the idea, but the police were of the opinion that it was better to acquiesce to the kidnappers' demands. I finally approve. <laughs> Ask for any more. Oh, I, uh, I see. Bloody auto mod being a dick. <laughs> yeah, I see it. There we go. I press allow, but it's probably too long now. A's reaction, on the other hand, baffled nearly everyone. We don't have 50 million yen just lying around. Are the police going to be putting that together for us? Wow! I'm not sure how to take that. I mean... <laughs> wow. Her daughter's, her, her daughter's life is on the line. And her response uh, to this is not... Oh, you know, anything about getting the money together or not doing this thing. But basically, oh, we don't have 50 million yen uh, lying around. Why don't the police go get it? It's like, excuse me? You, you do realise where that money comes from. That money would be from the police. Uh, uh, from the, uh, you know, from, like, the, uh, the government and therefore out of the taxpayers' pockets. And she sat there just say, suggesting that they hand, hand out 50 million in the uh, attempt to catch the criminal. Fucking hell. Kidro stepped in to reassure her. If it comes down to it, the police will be able to help raise the money. Okay, go ahead then do it. Need to need you to pay it back afterwards though, of course. Well then what's the point of that? I just thought it spiked up in a piercing shriek. 
calm down, it's alright, uh, you're making a scene. I turned away in a huff. So I detective or something did. did. I'll talk to the bank first thing tomorrow morning and figure something out. At that, I stormed out of the room. Kajara bowed his head several times in apology. Since the Tori made, made contact, we were, uh, has made contact with Apa and the suspect and take things from there. What? Hold on, wouldn't that put Marina in danger? If we let the kidnapper get away with the money, we have no proof that he will return the hostage safely afterwards. There was a certain logic there, so I had to concede. I see, he said. So you're saying that catching this guy will be easier for you if he keeps my daughter hostage? No, no, no that's not what I was buying at all. He just wiped the sweat from his brow and bowed fussy. At least, uh, I promise we'll get your daughter back safe and sound, Mr. 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 Osawa. Obviously, there's nothing to be gained from further challenging the detectives. Alright then, I'll let the police do their job. So I bowed even lower than Kajira had. I'm going to go into just loaf around, and he shrieked as she stormed into the room. How are you going to arrest this guy? She was becoming increasingly hysterical. An hour had passed as the suspect had taken the money, and yet the police had made no effort to apprehend him. Police apparently had a rule against discussing the operation before it was fully resolved, and so the Asawas had been left in the dark. Mm, it's tough, but it's understandable as to why, you know? Let's say you're on that just hand 50 million to criminals. Have had before, those criminals are called for bankers, though. Yeah, true. That is very true. <laughs> but they had overheard the task force talking over the wireless, and it appeared they were deliberately letting the suspect roam free. Hey, I snapped again. If he gets away with our money, you are going to reimburse us, right? Sarah scowled. She made it sound like the money was more important than Maria's life. Tissa has chained uneasy glances. Uh, hmm, hmm, hmm. I don't know, it seems like said nothing would be a sort of thing he'd say, but I'll have him just sort of speak up against his wife. So I chided his wife. It's only money, it doesn't matter. Only money? Are you serious? Do you have any idea how much we're talking about here? Fustino you know, voice left him with no response. He should have known better than to expect her to make sacrifices for his daughters. Jesus Christ, what kind of monster did he marry? By now he was accustomed to Aya's coldness toward the two girls. The twins were Sarah's daughters from his... Oh, okay. I mean, that kind of makes a bit more sense, but still. Fucking Ice Queen. Uh, from his first wife, who'd passed away 15 years earlier. I had no blood ties to Maria or Hitomi herself. Well, I can do. Are the police going to reimburse us or not? She glared finally at Kijua. Well, uh, right now we're focused on making sure Maria is safe. I stormed up to him, shouting right in his face. Stop dodging the question. Answer me! Y y yes, of course, Kijua squeaked. May maybe I... Uh, would you like something to eat to help you calm you down? He held out a banana, he smashed out of his hand. <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh dear, what a waste. Could you just grab and retrieve the fruit from the floor? So I went over to Naka and whispered into his ear. I'm going to meet with Mr. Makino. Zaki nodded silently. Turning as hard as I saw, could you are looking into their direction? I mean, eye contact, but Sara quickly looked away and strode out of the living room. Could you have followed after him? Excuse me, Mr. Osawa? Yes, what is it? I took a fuss sheepishly in his hair and forced a smile. Sir, we'd appreciate if you could remain in the living room as much as possible. So I was in no mood to stand out on propriety. Look, I've got a ton of work to do, he said. Are you here to tell me to play the role of a green father too? N no, not at all. Personally, I happen to think you're an animal father, Mr. Osawa. Animal. Uh, uh, admirable. Did the word have a ring of sarcasm? He had no way to tell if Jiro was being forthright with him or not. You're no or no father, Mr. Osawa. You're a genius. 
genius. Me. So I'm going to skip the noise. If I'm mistaken, sir, you make very important strides in the field of virus research. Or, or well, so I've been told. So I wasn't sure how to respond. He had never considered himself a genius. He was just someone who was more interested in viruses than he was in other people. Anyone who's a genius is a little bit odd, after all, Joe went on. Probably he'd intended that as a compliment, but still. And I mean, there's nothing wrong with weirdos, so long as they leave us ordinary folks alone, you know? <laughs> oh, fucking hell, this guy. <laughs> is this guy trying to praise me or insult me? Yeah, that's a good question. Not to mention, he's fucking weird himself. Because again, who pulls a banana out of their pocket just randomly? So I'll let have his sigh. Genius, weirdo, what did it even matter? So long as he could, could be left to his work, he didn't care one whit how he looked in another person's eyes. Other people's eyes. Joe wiped the sweat from his forehead with a handkerchief. Uh, by the way, uh, what are you working on right now? He asked. I'm afraid you wouldn't understand even if I explained to you, so I replied. Right, precisely. Even if I get my full attention, it would still be beyond me. He peered with a sudden intensity at Sawyer's face. Bloody hell. Wish you didn't hide things from me, sir, he said. So I gasped at the loss of words. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Uh, goodness, that made it sound like I was accusing you of hiding something, didn't it? She just bowed his head repeatedly. I hope you'll forgive me. He held out a banana. <laughs> Him and his fucking bananas! That wouldn't be necessary. <laughs> oh, this this uh, this VN is just fucking weird. It really is. It really, really is. <laughs> anyway. Battle time. Stab them in the face. There you go, Snoop. Yes, I killed two range units. Anyway, ah, uh, yes, yeah, so, so he gets two berserkers. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, just go this way. Shorter. Shorter to go this way. Yeah, it's not like you can backtrack in this. Kill two melee units. Fucking hell. Kill this, kill that, kill everything. Uh, yeah, there we go. How about this then? Oh, now that's more like it. This time we're out. Well, I chucked them in his pocket. No, thank you. Did this guy carry an endless food supply wherever he went? That's a good question. Oh my, remote, you, you geniuses really are tough to sort out. He inclined his head, mumbling to himself for a moment. Actually, now I'm getting a bit hungry now for chocolate. God damn it. And all the shops are closed this time because it's about uh, 11.25. Not like, I could, not like I could disappear in the middle of the, middle of the stream and be like, Hey guys, mind me wait here while I go to the shops. <laughs> Especially just to let him feed my own fucking... Um, uh, snacking urges. What can I get for you then, sir? Uh, what I'd really like is a Oh, no. It's something to myself. In days of exasperation, Osara felt his way to his study. 
After the door, he finally let out a breath that he was holding, they'd been holding. Then his eyes lined on the bookshelf against the wall. Ah! Oh. He pulled out a photo album and began to flip through it. A picture of his daughter's grade school uniform, a grade school involvement ceremony. The mother had already passed away from Ill from illness, so Osawa had taken the girls himself. He remembered that after the ceremony, Hitomi had come down with a fever. Hitomi had been rather sickly as a girl, falling bedridden at the drop of a hat. Maria, by contrast, had been lively and energetic, quite the handful. So I had found it remarkable that their personalities could be so different despite them being twins. No further in the album. There was a picture of the three of them in their grade school graduation. Maria was looking away from the camera. So I felt like someone had stabbed a dagger in his heart. His daughters, or, vi or virology, which truly concerned him more. Which did he truly love? Zeus tried to compare the two. He'd know. He'd known the answer before he even asked himself. Even so, human emotions are complicated and sometimes made people act inconsistently. One of the consequences of that was his photo album. This was the last photo he had of Maria. He searched and searched through the rest of the album, but she was nowhere else to be found. be continued. <laughs>